I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Magellan's voyage around the world. The first thing I'm going to do is come over here and make a straight line crossed by a straight line. On top of each straight line I'm going to draw a triangle. This is my compass rose. So I'm just going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, all the way around, connect. This is north, this is south, east, and west. Now, I'm going to put down at the bottom Magellan's voyage around the world. Now, because the map we're going to draw is a total world map, everything is going to be flattened. So don't be surprised if something doesn't look quite the way you think it should look. I come all the way over here to the left, one finger, and I put a dot. And from that dot, and I want you just to follow along with me as best you can, it's mostly wavy lines. From that dot going towards the left, I go wavy, wavy line out, little wavy line down, wavy line in, wavy line down, wavy line down, wavy line up, wavy line down, wavy line out, in, wavy line up, over, wavy line up, and leave it floating. Come back to where we started. We're going to draw a wavy line out, wavy line in, wavy line down, wavy line out, wavy line in, wavy line down, and connect. Right here, we're going to connect that wavy line. Okay. Come back up to the top. Let's put a dot, and let's just draw wavy line down, wavy line over, wavy line up, connect. It's not going to be totally exact, and that's okay. All right, I'm going to take two fingers and put another dot right there. And from that dot, I'm going to draw wavy line out, wavy line down, wavy line up, leave it floating. Come back to the top. Curve line up, curve line out, wavy line up, curve line out, wavy line up, in, wavy line out, in, wavy line out, in, wavy line down, in, wavy line down, up, curve line down, up, curve line down, up, and connect. Right over here in this space. First down here I'm just going to put a dot and I'm going to draw a curve line out, in, out, up, little curve line out, connect. Right above it, curve line, connect, and little curve line, connect, little curve line, connect, little curve line, connect, little curve line, connect. Okay. This, believe it or not, is North America. Fill that in. This is South America. Some of you are going, what? No. This is because we drew it flattened out. Over here is Europe. This is Asia. This is Africa. This is Australia. 
and these are the Philippine Philippine Islands. Now some of you are going to say, we're missing things. That's okay because this is Magellan's voyage around the world and I'm only putting in, most important, I forgot, Spain. I'm only putting in the important things that determined his voyage. This is the Pacific Ocean. This is the Atlantic Ocean. At, whoops, that should be an L. Atlantic Ocean. And I think that's about ready to roll. Alright, now you're going to draw a line starting from Spain because that's where he started out with. But first we're just going to draw a curved line that goes around the Straits of Magellan, comes up to the Pacific Ocean, and goes off. This space right here in 1520 is the Strait, Strait of Magellan. So you got to put that in. Magellan. Then we're going to come in and we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line because they made stops along the coast of South America. Now come back up to Spain and we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, keep going, go through the Philippine Islands and go off the page because now this is going to, if it were a globe, go all the way over to this part of the Pacific Ocean. And he did the Philippine Islands in 1521, so we'll put that down. He left Spain in 1519. The uh, expedition returned in 1522. Notice I did not say Magellan was with them. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is pretty easy to color in because you don't want to mess up any of your labeling that you just did. So lightly, 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 we're just going to color the land masses of these continents in this one country with a very light loop-de-loop -loop brown. Okay, this is so you can see the actual voyage. And like I said, this is not drawn the way you would think it would be drawn on a regular map because this is the whole world flattened out. Next, you're going to take your blue, or let's color in our compass rose down here, blue, and then lightly we're going to draw straight diagonal lines to represent all the oceans. You don't want to color it all in because you wouldn't again get to see all your labels and the labels are really really important. So you take a blue green or regular blue and just do some diagonal blue lines so you know that this is the oceans. Notice I said plural because he did the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Okay. Now get your red out. Starting on this direction first. Draw it right next to the black line we just drew. Come back in and draw your little stops. Come back up to Spain and come down around. And now you're done. That's it. Oops. I forgot. Color in your little triangles for your compass rows. And we'll talk about what that voyage was. Okay. Let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay. Here is my map of Magellan's voyage around the world. So to walk you through it. In 1519 he leaves Spain. He's got five ships and 239 men. 
they go towards the coast, off the coast of South America, and they almost have a mutiny. That means the crew was not happy. They sail around the Strait of Magellan, and now they're in open waters. They come all the way down around to the Philippine Islands. Once they get there, the crew is almost wiped out by scurvy, which is a disease of not getting fresh fruits and vegetables. It's now 1521. Magellan gets killed by a local tribe chief in the Philippines. His other person that was in charge, El Cano, takes one ship. They ended up with one ship left to go all the way back up to Spain. 1,125 days to circumvent the globe. An amazing adventure. Okay, bye-bye.